Can I get a, a large vanilla chai? Even something as simple as standing, waiting for his drink to be made, is painful. Okay, thank you. For Mike Trotter. Coming to this coffee shop is about as far as I can get by myself. He's limited in mobility after what had been just any other routine day on graveyard. Around 1224 in the morning on April 27th of 2022, Deputy Trotter was on his way to help assist with a call about a possible drunk driver. And I remember one of our canine handlers getting on the radio. That I'll just try to go head on with me almost. I'm gonna have it south down Murray. And then that's the last thing I remember. A Nissan Altima filled with five teenagers coming from the north heading south on Murray at the same time as Trotter was heading east on TV Highway. Trotter says he was told that Nissan Altima was going around 100 miles an hour when it hit him right on his driver's side of his SUV. Trotter was pinned inside his vehicle, bleeding. We got one deputy, he's conscious, alert. Uh, also heavily pinched. Inside the other car, five teenagers from Beaverton South Ridge High School. 54 came back to a trap. They are pinned heavily. Right in the front seat, there's also three in the back. 17-year-old Matthew Amaya and 16-year-old Juan Aguilera died. The three other teens, including the driver, 18-year-old Xavier Rodriguez, were critically injured. Rodriguez was charged with manslaughter, assault, and DUII. Look, I've been at hundreds of those crashes and I don't, I don't know how I'm alive. Trotter remembers waking up in the hospital a week or two later after the accident. He knew that his life had changed. He says he thought of giving up, but what kept him going was his three-year-old son, Harley. I remember one point <clears throat> telling myself, like, it would just be so much easier to die right now. Like, this sucks, but I wouldn't do it because it wouldn't be fair for him. Almost six weeks later, he was moved from the hospital to a rehab center and finally went home around the beginning of July. Right, you want to stay here, buddy? His days now are anything but routine. Yeah. They're filled with physical therapy and doctor's appointments. So I broke both, both bones in my right arm. Uh, my pelvis was on the left side, was just completely shattered. And uh, due to that injury, I have uh, a bunch of damage to my sciatic nerve on the left side. And muscles in his left leg that don't work. I'm in such excruciating pain, it's not even that enjoyable. He says doctors have told him his career as a law enforcement officer is likely over. I still can't do a full thumbs up. But he's working each but day to prove them wrong. It's better than it was. What has kept him going and helped him get stronger? Yeah, about to be four, end of this month. Are his family. Trotter's working to finish his associate's degree so he can have a backup plan just in case, you know, for what's next. He says the sheriff's office is trying to find a position for him that he can work in given his current limitations.